It's not quite as, as you see it. Okay. If my, you can't see, most of you can't see where my hands are. I, so I can't do the foot, bring them forward because they're pinned at the back. I can't lift them up. I can't go into them. I'm pretty much in, we'll say, a bear hug. So this ha right hand, the right hand, I'll just show you this, is going to make, um, in Tai Chi, they, it's like a bird's beak. Uh, it's a bird's beak. So I'm going to put all my fingers together. I'm now turning on my cheek, but I can't move him, so I can't move it a centimetre. My buttock turns as the bird beak turns. I don't know how many people can see it, but if I keep there, it's starting to come out. At that time, this hand needs to have crept over to there. So now it's kihon, because I've got one hand on it. Now I can make it come out. I mustn't make it come out until then. Now this hand's going to come here, and if I had a can to cut, cut him, that would do that, and that's where I'd end up. It's the same as the katatadori one. I can do this one, it doesn't matter. If I have a, um, an open hand, let's go this way. If I have an open hand, it's difficult to turn it. If I make a bird's beak, it's easier. If it comes out before I've got my hand closed, then it's not kihon. And he can take his hand away. So, we've got another technique for that. So, bird's beak, turn. It comes out too quick, he takes his hand away. Never mind. <laughs> right, so there's always another technique. So if you find you mess up, do the Arimi. Ah. Bird's beak. If you think about it, let go. If you think about it, uh, other hand. You perhaps didn't see that earlier. The camera will have, so I can't lie. I didn't go like that. I actually went... I said that thumb goes over there and I was closing my hand up because I know I was. All right. So, all right, so there's a piece more to add to it, the bird's beak. This is in, in Tai Chi. You know, you, you hit these points on the person's body. We won't go into that, we're doing Aikido, aren't we? Okay. <laughs> <laughs>